Hey everyone, my name is Danilo Petrovic. I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kuda. I'm Evgeny Donsko. I'm Henry Laksan. I'm Peter Torepko and, and you are listening to the Game to Love podcast. podcast. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. Here we go. It's Radu Kanu time yet again. She is up against a very tough opponent. One of my favorites that's coming up on the uh, WTA Tour, Marta Kostiuk. It's going to be a real, real barn burner, this one. And they've just kicked off. They have indeed. And it is Radu Kanu serving first. It's going to be an exciting one. It promises to be. Uh, on this occasion, I believe. Thanks, everyone, who's joining us straight off the bat for this one. And uh, maybe a little bit controversial. Uh, Kostyuk wearing the Radu Kanu red that she wore at the US Open. Maybe she's trying to get in her head with the Radu Kanu, uh, Radu Kanu red. What do you think? Let me know your score predict predictions in the live chat as well. Come on, guys. There's no need... Uh, to guess who us flag I'm going to be having today. It's going to be the Union Jack. That is correct. And so far, it is 15 all. Emma been sort of growing uh, as the tournament's going on. Uh, she's looking better, better. But I'd say far from the US Open uh, champion that she is or the performances she was putting on at the US Open. So, good serving there from Emma into the net from Kostiuk. 40-15. Good start for the young Brit. Let me know where you're watching from, who you're cheering for. It's always great to hear from you guys. JG will be joining us in just a second. He can't wait for this one as well. It's two players that we are both very big on, obviously, the, the Brit Raducanu and the Ukrainian Marta Kostyuk. So, 40-30 uh, at the moment. Raducanu, she always struggles in those first few games, though, doesn't she? She doesn't seem to uh, have a nice, easy start to any match from what we've seen. She likes to uh, get, every, get everybody going a bit. I don't know, keep you on the edge of your seat, uh, so to speak. But... I don't know. Maybe when she's been on the tour for like a, a year or something like that, maybe we'll start to get to see her settle in and start uh, dominating from, from the off. That would be nice, wouldn't it? But for now, we're just going to have to deal with the uh, the stress and strain of uh, Radu Kanu and the slow starting. But it is what it is. So anyway, advantage Radu Kanu now. And we got Marta Kostyuk bouncing around on the uh, on the baseline. Oh, great serve from Emma. They go backhand to backhand cross court. Emma with a more of a shorter whipping backhand. Kostyuk now forehand down the line. Now they go cross court. Oh, it's a good baseline rally. It's into the net from Emma, and we're back to juice. We've got uh, Mervyn in saying, come on, Emma, from Dunstable. We've also got uh, John Lovenhill in uh, saying, John from Sweden. Fingers crossed for Emma. Yeah, definitely. Wouldn't it be great uh, if we got to see her in the next round? Obviously, she would be playing Simona Halep if she was to go through. She just went through double breadstick and Christian. But we've got our first break point of the match here, and it is... Going to Marta Kostyuk. Yeah, Kostyuk, a uh, very, very good young player. She's been on the tour for about th nearly three years now. She's only 18 as well, I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, she had a good run in the Australian Open, I believe. Got to around the, like the third round, I think. No, she's 19 now. Excuse me. So 18 versus 19. The future of tennis, just how we like it. Got David Cummins in saying, come on, Emma, from Australia. Great to have you in from down under. 
Guys, if you're just joining and you haven't hit a like button on the video yet, please hit that like button now. Subscribe if you're new. I don't know if you noticed, we have hit 20,000 subscribers now. Come on, GTL, doing it in 2021. Can we can we get another 20 next year? Who knows? It's up to you guys. But we do have the first break of the match, and it does go to Marta Costia. Wow. Here she is, mate. I was hoping you was going to recognise the break. I heard you talking. I was waiting for you to finish. Um, but yeah, just like that, Emma Raducanu broken early. She does start very slow. Um, yeah. And she starts very slow here again today. I don't think she's going to be a really going to she can't keep getting away with these slow starts going to catch up on her for sure and i think if she is to get through costume which is not going to be easy uh, against halop if you if she starts slow against halop it'll be over within the hour i think that's yeah, my yeah. prediction on it we saw what halop did earlier um winning very comfortably against fellow romanian player uh, i think it was I think, is it christian or something like christian, that christian yeah uh, won that 6-1-6-1. Six, one, six, one. So, yeah, Radu kind of needs to eradicate this part out of her game because she can't afford to do it. Nice pun. Is that yeah. me? Do you mean to it do wasn't, that? It wasn't actually meant to be, but oh. it sounds good. She needs to eradicate. Radu Kanate. She's, she's a bit of a radical player, some might say. She's going to give a shout-out to Ellie. Good morning, GTL fam. Probably up early. Hey. I saw your outfit as well for Halloween on the yeah. Discord. Yeah, uh, good. Pretty awesome. Looks like you're dressed as Marta Kostyuk, though, based on today's game. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Kostyuk's got the same outfit, but she's opting for the red. And that is a oh. terrible forehand from Radu yeah. Kanu. Wild and 40-15 here. Kostyuk looking to just to consolidate that break early on. Create a little bit of distance. And, um, yeah, how you been, Ben? Obviously, I don't get to talk to you as much now, doing different jobs. Literally. How's your Friday been? so stressed uh i was scraping around to had people chasing me for reports to send over i managed to send it over literally about 10 minutes ago i haven't had anything to eat yet today uh so i'm hoping that radu kind gets this done uh in two <laughs> so i can eat something today no well, well it sounds like you've been a lot busier than me that's for sure Radu Kanu goes long, and it is the consolidation for Kostya. Yeah, mate, that just sounds pretty bad. But at least you've got some tennis to I feel like I'm in a daze. Like, we know when you don't eat and you just feel like, and I've just been staring at a screen solidly for just hours, that now like I'm just... I, I think feel like it. Like it's... Never, you should try your best to never do that to yourself. Oh, yeah. I know it's, it's easier once said a month, done. isn't it? This is the thing. Yeah, I, I know, but you need to just find a way to just put it down. Yeah, I, I just let the some... work. I know, get someone else I know to it sounds it. silly, but no, the work has to suffer. You can't, you can't allow yourself to do that. I think that's my opinion. Well, there's a deadline. That's the problem. People yeah. waiting. I know what you mean. It is tough. <clears throat> Horrible. Yeah, well, that's done for another month. <laughs> oh, it's all done now, is it? Well, yeah. Well, I've sent the report over. Well, let's see if I, I'm, I've closed the laps off. I, don't, I want to see if if there's any replies. So the I'll, I'll, read, I'll, I'll read the feedback later. Yeah, yeah. That's it, mate. All right. Let's see if Radu Khan can get on the board. Let's get the Looking weekend. a little bit better on this service game, that's for sure. 30 love. Um, uh, to be fair, from what I've seen of this so far, it looked like... It's all been Emma's sort of dictating what's happening. It's like if she misses, um, Kostyuk got the break. There was a lot of errors there in that one to get broken. Ooh, and, and now who's in? she's winning it, points. It's all on her racket. Mr. Dragon Sevens arrived. He said, get some Oy. steak and shrimp. You work too hard for us, GTL family. And Dragon Seven, we've been waiting for you because it's about time we had the first ever Dragon Seven button. <laughs> Seven. Seven. 
There he is, Dragon <laughs> Seven makes his way into the live chat. Appreciate that. I'll go get some steak and shrimp after the stream. Thank you. Yeah, Appreciate cheers, that, mate. Man. Honestly, we've been sitting on that button for a while <laughs> yeah, because why? we did promise you you would get a button for the tips in the previous streams and all the stuff during the Olympics. Uh, we worked hard on that button. Well, Ben worked hard on it. Um, <laughs> and now we finally get to play it. So hopefully you enjoyed it. We tried to get a bit of Dragon Ball Z in there for you. Yeah. Um, and yeah, let's see if Radu Kanu can turn her fortunes around. She's managed to hold her serve. I think it was a game to love as well, was it? Um, I mean, I'm gonna, that Dragon Seven button. Dragon <laughs> Seven threw me completely, me off. me completely off. I'm so excited to press the button. Yeah, it was game to love. Here he goes. Damn hell. Yes, dope. <laughs> uh, I loved it, guys. Oh, that's good. Um, listen, we wanted to make something you'd be uh, proud to proud to watch. So when Dragon 7 now enters the stream, you can have your button because you deserve it. A bit like King Leon. You've tipped a lot over the years. Well, I say over the years, over the few months. It feels like years. Um, and yeah, we just want to show our appreciation. Definitely, mate. And you'll move up to second on the leaderboard now as well. Uh, in the race for, uh, I was going to say the hunt for Red October. That was a film that used to be out. But uh, the, <laughs> I think, where are we? We're right at the end of October now. So yep. it might be a little bit too late, but it depends. We know what that Olympic battle was like. So now yeah, if we're gonna I think get um, a, October another. looks looks to be set, if I'm honest. Um, I think we're all on November now. Can the King Leon return early in that one? Emma here. She's returning just extremely well. She's Big power from yeah, her. I'm not sure. I think she's dragged that one just wide. She has 15 all. Hooked it, it seems to all be her still, though. I don't, I'm not seeing anything from Kostrup this entire match. I know she's up a break, but it's all been errors off Radu Khan's racket. Um, I don't think Kostrup minds, but let's see what she can offer here. Another very interesting match that's playing at the moment uh, for young WTA uh, players. Anne Lee versus Clara Towson. Anne Lee takes the first set. Ooh. And Lee in some red hot form. And Lee. Into the net again, another error. And I don't think we can uh, not speak about, I'm sure we'll probably speak about it tomorrow, Carlos Alcaraz yeah. in what was probably one of the most epic match of the whole week. Yep. Knocking out Matteo Berrettini. I'm glad you said week as well. I thought you was going to say day, but it was no. the, the match of the week. Um, shame we couldn't cover it with, with work commitments, but that was another one yeah. um, which I was fortunate enough to watch a part of on my phone, if I'm honest. And that tie break was incredible. Alcaraz, the resilience for an 18-year-old to be able to do that is just phenomenal. And uh, well, I've got a lot of stats to really share on the next podcast, but I'm going to save it for that. Because he's breaking records, the kid. And that's a really good winner from Kostyuk. Um, she's under pressure here. And with her back against the wall, Radu kind of thrown a lot at her. She's been able to pick out a really nice forehand winner. And she's got 40-30. Looking to just to keep that gap of the one break and hold serve. She goes into the net, though. Going to be a second serve coming up. Yeah. Guys, if you are just joining us and you haven't hit the like button on the video yet, please hit that button now and subscribe if you are new. The next step, 25K for GTL. Let's see if we can get it by the end of the year, right, JG? Yeah, and a good point here from Jackson, I have noticed it, is the uh, the call. It doesn't seem to be very even. I don't know if you've noticed it, but if you look at the camera from the baseline, you can see it's very uneven yeah. and bumpy, and that could be... Well, that could be what's causing a lot of the, some of the players to be a bit off balance. You've seen, I yeah. think, TFO at times looked like he was always stretching for the ball. Sister pass struggled too in that match. Um, and that is something to consider for an indoor hardcore. Uh, a bit, bit strange to have sort of a bumpy terrain. I'm not sure yeah. whether they've just put them up quite quickly, but... Well, possible, yeah. Most, most mean... likely. It's the first, event, first time of this event, isn't it? So Exactly. Oh, what a shot there from yeah. Kostiuk down the line. Painting the lines there. Look at this. Nice two-handed backhand, just sort of aiming it down the line. Nothing my, Emma can do. Yeah, one of my favourite shots of Kostyuk, that double-handed backhand down the line. Do you think it's a bit crazy how 
much of a favourite Raducanu is for this one. Yeah, I think so. I think this one should be... If you're going to make Raducanu favourite, I'd put her at maybe like a 1.66 or something, not yeah. like 1.3. I Agreed. think that's a bit heavy. I had the same numbers in my head, so <laughs> very rare that we say the same with things like that, but yeah, exactly the same. And here we go. Uh, Raducanu wins that point, brings it to Juice. Who's that watching on? I don't know. It looked like Massetti for a glance, but I didn't see properly. Wow, great serve in there from Kostyuk. Be interested to know if uh, these two have ever played each other before. No, they haven't. What about in uh, ITF or not ITF in juniors? Sorry, that'd be interesting because a lot of these players meet in the juniors. Oh, there's that backhand again, Marta Kostyuk. Wow. I think there's but, like a fuzzing noise, Ben, from, coming from your mic. Is it from mine? Let me try oh, and mute. Yeah. Wait, I'm mute. <laughs> I don't know now. Yeah, it's you. Okay, let me know. Uh... It's not like a, it's not really a technical thing. It's like a fuzzy noise. So maybe a wire's not Wait, in popular or something. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Let me know if anyone else can hear it. Yeah. But here we go. Kostjuk three one up. Oh, misses the drop shot, and they're cheers to Ratchet. They're saying one one in the juniors. Oh, interesting. Obviously, yeah. that wouldn't appear, would it, if you looked at the head to head? But in the juniors. Well, Matthew saying Emma said Kostjuk regularly beat her in the juniors. I think it's different now, though. It's a different stage altogether. Um, yep. I wouldn't really look too much into junior tennis. I'm not sure if it's really been a good indication over the years of where a player's at. You often see one player very good in the juniors, and they don't really amount to much in their career. So wow. you can't say the same about Emma Raducanu, though, because she's amounted to an awful lot already, yep. winning a Grand Slam. Um, not been doing great on the WTA tour, but I say that. She's hardly played. Only recently picking up a few wins here in Romania. Yep. Before that she never won a WTA match, but here she is here under pressure again uh, against Kostyuk. I forget was it who her cog in the last match? She was down a break as well. In the first match was a uh, her cog. In the, was that the second the, one was a little second, bit more simple, wasn't it? The, se the second one was against Bogdan, and yeah. it was uh, yeah, it was. She just looked like she was getting back into the swing of things, which is really good to see. Bogdan didn't play well though. I'm not going to lie. Wasn't a very good performance. Or oh, Emma's, I think it's going to be good for her just to get into like a, a real battle of a match. I mean, the, the Hercog one was good for her. I think I feel like she started playing now, though. This is a bit more intent in her shots, uh, no. not really making the errors, serving better. So if this bodes well for the match so far, Emma, as well, what's this? Seventeen minutes into the match. I don't want to jinx it yet, but it seems like she's found her rhythm. There we go, another good yeah. serve. Holds her serve, serve. and we're at three two. She's a good tennis player. And um, one second. I'll be back in two seconds. No worries. My Ben's off. I'm going to take you through some of the other matches because I know we did touch briefly on um, the Alcaraz one, but there's been some really good ones as well. Um, you've got Rublev. He's playing right now. And you'll be surprised to hear he's down a set against Van der Zanslup. He's someone we know what he's done recently on tour. Been a very imp impressive player, especially at the US Open. And now beating Rublev as well. So watch out for that one. That could be a real big upset alert. Uh, I want to talk about Marin Cilic as well. He's still going. Marin Cilic, he's had a great week in Russia. Um, and, well, it's continued. I know he lost that final against Karatsev, but he's beat Batista a good today in three sets. So he's looking sort of on the comeback trail, uh, playing very well. And then the other one, obviously, is a big third set against um, with uh, Felix Zverev. I know that one I thought was going to be pretty straightforward. I thought um, Felix would have struggled because when the later rounds and indoor hard court with Zverev is just so tough. But he's holding his own. And 
I feel like this third set is in the, just well, it's it's in the balance. It's currently on serve. Felix is under pressure a little bit, but I think it could go either way, if I'm honest. Um, and then obviously on the women's, the other one to mention is Contavi. Um, just amazing, really. She's just continued the run. I forget how many matches it is. Must be approaching about 10 in a row. And poor Ange Jabur sitting at home right now. Um, I'm not sure if she's going to be able to get into the, the the race. I'm not sure if she can even get in there because if Contavi keeps winning, it's going to mean Ange Jabur won't be able to qualify, which is just really sad. I'd love to see them both there, if I'm honest. And back to the match. We're back underway here. Uh, Emma's got it all to do down the break. But she has started to play a little bit better. And here we go. Kostjuk serving. Wins the first point with an unreturnable serve. It's a wayward first serve this time. It looks like there's no one here at all. The atmosphere, not very good. Um, compare it to Vienna, sort of polar opposite. Romania, not sure if they're allowed to have any crowd in at all. So it is playing in front of an empty stadium. And it's not very good for the spectator, I must admit. But hopefully we'll try and make it as, as fun as possible. And if Emma can turn up here, then that will definitely help towards it. And here we go. She's struggling slightly to really make any indents on the Kostrick serve. It's another unreturnable. Uh, and Kostrick's missing a lot of first serves here as well. It just seems like Radu's not, Radu Khan is not doing great on the second serve. Here we go. We're into the rally. And there we go. Big shank here from Kostyuk. First shank of the match. And Radu Khan would take a few more of them. Not really seen many rallies yet at all. First serves in. Going forehand to the backhand of Emma Radu Khan. Uh, that one is just long. And really from... Not doing much. Uh, Radikanu has an opportunity here to break. It's 30 all. She needs to get a break point, I feel. I would love to see her be able to do this in two, but I think it is going to be pretty complex. I don't think the odds tell the story. I know everyone's very hyped on the Emma train, but Kostjuk's a very good youngster as well. And this one has the makings of a free setter, definitely. Um of course, I would love to see it done in two because I would. I just want to see uh, Simona Halep versus Emma Raducanu. That was the match we was um, sort of promised at Indian Wells. Never happened. Both players getting knocked out before that stage. But now we have another opportunity and that is a really good, powerful shot from Emma and we do have break point. But just like that, gone in a flash, ace. Out wide from Kostyuk and she saves the break point. First break point of the match, which she saved. On her serve, of course. She does have the, the break here, leading 3-2. So we're back to Juice. And that is ooh, very close first serve, but it was just long. Yeah, Jackson there just explaining. There is no fans allowed. Uh, the crowd's basically just the people with the players and the people working there, yeah? No fans at all. Oh, and that's a shame. Into the net. Oh, apologies. It was just long. So there we go. We do have... Oh, no, it wasn't. I think they've got the score mixed up on the on the screen here. But it was into the net. And there we go. Kostic wins that point advantage. Big hit in here. Hits the net cord. Is it going to be fortunate to her? She goes for the lob. Kostic. She gets the lob. Raducanu comes in. And is it going to be put away? You'd think so. It hasn't. What's she done there? Just allowed her back into the rally. Got away with it and holds her serve. But a bit of a strange shot selection there from Kostjuk. She sighs a, um, well, it's a deep breath from her there. But that is shocking from her. She had the whole court to go into. Radu Kana was in no man's land, basically giving up on the point. And for some reason, Kostjuk played it straight back to her. Made her play another one and she finished it off there. But that was a bit strange from her. Not great. In terms of the other match, just why this one is 4-2, because I'm interested to see if Rublev can come back in the other one. Um, looks like still on serve in the second. Van der Zanslup doing the business as we speak. And Zverev is knocking on the door. Is he going to get the break? He's got a break point in the third. Um, that's going to be really big considering 
Sissipas is now out of Vienna. Berrettini's out of Vienna as well. Uh, Zverev will be the outright favourite. If not, he was, well, he probably was already, but even more so now. So he's going to want to take that opportunity. Double fault there from Radu Khan, 15 all. Twenty-five minutes played in this one, and Kostyuk still has the break. It's been well, it's been close. Rally kind of getting back in, but she's gone long again. It seems to just be all power from her right now. I'm not sure if she's using much intelligence here. It just seems to be trying to just blow Kostyuk off the court. You can do that against certain players. I'm not sure if Kostyuk's one of them because she can fight power, power very well. And she's not having to at the moment because she's missing a lot, Raducanu. And here we go under pressure. She is 15-30. You've got game in tonight, and this is where Emma may go out. Uh, hope not, but this match is a league above what she's played so far. Yeah, I would agree. She's made hard work of, uh, especially the first match here in the in the event against Polona Hercog. And no offence to her, but Kostyuk is a lot better than her. And I think she's going to push her a lot more. Cheap point from her, 30 all. It's important she tries and holds here. Into the net. Come on, Emma. Just get a first serve. What was her first serve percent? Not too bad. 67. Oh, is, it double, is that a double fault? Yeah, it is. Terrible. And that's two double faults in this service game alone. And we have another break point. Kostyuk here looking for the double break and an opportunity to serve for the first set. In, it's only been 26 minutes as well, so it'll be a very quick first set. She's twirling the racket. Can Emma find a first serve? Yes, she does. We're into the rally. Emma goes into the net. And what a waste from her. Honestly, the double thoughts. It's like watching Sister pass yesterday. And Kostyuk here is going to be serving for the first set. One of them days, isn't it? It just seems to be one of them days. Shout out to all the Kostyuk fans who are going to be cheering her on. I can see Brandon there. But I feel the mo most people here are wanting and willing Emma Raducanu to win, especially us from the UK. And I'm trying to put my finger on what's going wrong, for, wrong with her. But it just seems to me she's making too many errors. She's gone into the net. She's gone long so many times. Um, not finding the court enough. It seems to be all real serious power. Uh, and not much intelligence behind her shots. We know she's such an intelligent girl. She speaks so well. And, well, you wouldn't think she's only, what, 18, 19 years old. But right now, she's not really using her brain, which we know she has, because it just seems to be her tactic is, I'm going to try and hit a winner off every single ball. And you can't do that. Granted, you can, you can do that in spells of matches, but this is just, I don't think this is the right tactics from her. And it, listen, I know everyone's going to be talking about it. Does this go back to the fact she has no coach now? She had a coach and it worked well with her. She won the whole US Open with this coach. They parted ways. And we don't know exactly why. But here, it's like she's got no coach and she's not really got a plan either because her plan isn't a very intelligent one. Let's see if it, she can turn it around. But right now, Kostruk here serving for the first set. Uh, we've got Craig saying, I think Radu Khan is still getting used to slower courts. I think this, I think they're, they're playing quite fast, the courts out here. Am I not mistaken? Uh, we've got David here saying, I'll be interested to see how Emma deals with the pressure of being a big name in tennis now. Played pretty fearlessly in New York. Of course, that is another thing to consider. Uh, we did speak about this at Lemps and, well, I think I was maybe on the on the side of being um, pretty critical and harsh because I actually said we're not going to see Emma Raducanu now win something for two years. And that's not to say she's not a good player. I think it's going to take her some time to adapt to the big stage of what she is now. She's a celebrity, one of the biggest names in sport. 
and I don't mean in tennis, just worldwide. She's become a star overnight. And I think that takes some time to adapt and adjust to. And on that on that basis, I'm not expecting her to win many things in the next few years. I think it's going to take her some time. But I still believe she has all the ability to be another, well, a, a multiple Grand Slam champion. Definitely. We've already seen what she's able to do at Wimbledon as well. And it bodes very well for her future. But it may not happen straight away. She's still very young. She's just a teenager at the end of the day. Let's wait for her 20s. That's my attitude to it. I'm sure loads of people will disagree. And they're going to say she's going to win loads of things now. And there may be people who think she's a one-hit wonder and never win something again. And listen, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. I'm just explaining you, I'm telling you my one. Let's see. Set point here, Kostya. And it is long from Raducanu. And just like that, 30 minutes on the dot. And Kostyuk takes the first set. And Kostyuk, I would say, if I had to recall, I can only remember one winner. And the really, a lot of the points were Emma Raducanu just misfiring. Into the net, long, wide, the lot. Not good, very good from her. Poor performance so far. And, well, Kostyuk's not really made many mistakes. So, fair play to her. She leads. Yeah, we've got a lot of people really having their say here. We've got Vance and Emma is basically working backwards to build her career. That must be mentally confusing. Yeah, well, not many people have taken her path before, if not nobody. I don't think it's ever going to happen again either. So let's see how she deals with it. We've got Bahumet saying Kostya is used to the slow courts. Uh, she's good on the clay. Yeah, well... I don't think I've watched enough of this event to really... I'm not sure what how, how the courts are playing, but if a lot of people are saying they're playing slow, I'll have to take your word up, word for it. Um, obviously, Vienna, I've been watching quite a bit of. That's very fast out there. Um, this one most likely would be a bit slower than that, for sure. And Kostyuk, yeah, she's handling it very well. Um, so far, I've not seen any other Kostyuk match uh, this tournament, so I can't really judge how she played in the previous rounds. But I can let you know who she did play. Um, and that was uh, Bernarda Pera, good American player, and uh, Barthel, who we know is not a very good player and he's been losing a lot. I know she did get a win here, finally, but you'd expect Kostyuk to be able to beat her with, with her eyes closed, if I'm honest. No, try not to be too disrespectful to Barthel there, but she doesn't win many matches, let alone set. So I think she's going to be thrilled that she's managed to win one. And uh, no toilet break. It seems like we're going straight into the second set here. Uh, just like that, Emma back on court and she's going to be serving first. She needs, to, she needs to hold here straight away and she goes into the net again. It's a poor performance. It really is. If I had to rate this out of 10, I'd probably give it maybe a three. I think it's a three out of 10 performance from Radu Khan so far. Doesn't seem to be much sense behind what she's doing. Um, I understand you can have an off day, but just maybe adapt, change. Don't keep doing the same thing. Try something new. It seems to be she's still going, all guns blazing. And hopefully she can just find her rhythm in a minute and everything's going to click. But right now, missing, missing, missing. Another one there, long, on the baseline. Kostyuk just whacks it back. She's not even doing much at all, Kostyuk. Um, And it's love 30 here. Uh, we've got Vance here saying with two days left in the month, is Dragon 7 trying to make the, the greatest comeback of all time? Well, we can see there, there is still a big distance between Dragon 7 and the King Leon. I don't think the Dragon can make it. Um, I'm not sure if you saw Vance, but we did play the Dragon's button earlier on for him. We've been sitting on it for a while and we finally got to play it. But quickly back to the match, it's another double fault. It is another one. That's the, I think it may be the fourth or the fifth. I know it's saying four on the screen. I'm not sure if that's fully updated. But a lot of double thoughts from Emma Raducanu. It's a second serve right now. And she's facing three break points in the second set. She's done it again. She's done it again. Another double fault back to back. Uh -oh. And it's a, she's been broken to love. <laughs> wow. 
I won't leave again. I don't know what happened. Uh, <laughs> well, she was losing sad. when you left, right? Yeah, she was, but she was. It seemed to all fall apart, like completely. Well, just a lot of double faults. That, that is the fourth one, and fifth was now. Fifth now, and two of them were back to back. Just a terrible performance from her. If I'm honest, it really isn't a good, good one. And I'm going to keep going back to what I said about her. I feel like you was a little bit more positive, so maybe you can shed your light on it. But I just don't see her winning anything for the next two years. I know you're are you, are you slowly that. are you slowly coming back coming over to my side? Uh I don't know. I think it's still too early to say, to be honest. I mean, these players that she's playing are all uh, very experienced. Even though someone like Kostyuk, she's uh, nineteen. She's been on the tour for three years. So you gotta once you she's had a year. Well. She's not finding the court at all, Ben, at the moment. Done one full season. I think we'll get to know what uh Radu Kanu's really all about. But so far I think all of these players are new to her uh, on the main tour. A little uh, bit of luck there. In what way? Well, Kostyuk made an error. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> giving, her a, giving her a chance yeah. now. Oh, it's done it again. It's just, it's not even fun to watch, I'm afraid. Um, I don't like watching this this brand of tennis at all. I think it's just it's just lacking intelligence. Radu Kanu, come on, just self destruct. It's not that you can't just. It's not working. Just it does it every single time. It's just you can't watch this. This is nonsense. I know. And right, just like that, the consolidation for Kostya. <laughs> but, uh, so, shout out to everyone who did join us for this one. Apologies, the standard of the match. Radu Kanu here um, playing. A brain, a brain dead style of tennis. Uh, that's what that's the way I'd call it and describe it. Um, thanks for joining us. We'll be covering this as much as we can. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit the like button on the video and subscribe if you are new. We did obviously pass 20k subs. I think the next target is going to be 100k. So yeah. hopefully you can join us. 25. I'd go with next. <laughs> that's not an achievable no, I think target. 100k. Too. Well, that's the next target for you. That is the next. That's my next landmark. 50k would oh, be yeah, my 50K. Next big uh, yeah, landmark. 50k. But I'd be happy to uh, see how if we were able to uh, get 25k next. To be honest, I think that's an achievable one in the near future. But we'll nah, keep. Our let's eyes. go straight 50, Ben. Right. If you think we can just plow through and get another uh, 30,000 subscribers, of course then you can. It's easy as there that. There we go. It? Finally. That's the oh. best shot we've seen from Radu Kanu in a long time. About time as well, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Daniel saying, Ari pressure. Uh, Radu didn't need to go to the Bond Premier and Met Gala in New York. Oh, come on. She's young. Well, as if you're going to just say, oh, yeah, no going out ever. Right? She, what, she wins the US Open. She might not win it again. Got to enjoy all of the benefits while you are US Open champion. That's my personal Daniel opinion. saying, does she want to be a tennis pro or just a famous celebrity? I don't even think she's shown any signs that she wants to be a famous celebrity. She's been thrown into it. Everybody wants her as the uh, like sort of the face of their brand. She doesn't have a choice in the matter by the looks of it. She will be a celebrity. Well, she does have a choice. She can say no. <laughs> yeah, I know. She can like, be like, oh, no, I don't want to do this deal. I'm going to... Do my tennis, but listen, I'm not, not. I'm not. I'm not going to criticize her. I think this. I think it's all good. great for she's, her. It's all new to her. Go with it, and uh, you do what you have to do, girl. Uh, I'm sure she's going to have plenty of times to be smashing out the tennis. She's so young as it is. Uh, but one second, man, it just answer the door. No worries. Yes, she is a very young. She will still get better. Don't worry. To the fact that she's already done what she she's done what she's done. I think that you just got to take your hat off to her, to be honest. I, she's she's overachieved. So if you're going to penalise people for overachievement in life uh, in a, a, a young age, then uh, what's the world coming to? So gets herself on the board there. And we're talking like she's lost this match. She's still in the match. She's... <laughs> she's unfortunately for her, she's just 
probably one of the most viewed female tennis players now on on planet Earth. So, yeah, Daniel's right. She can say no, but what would you say no if they wheeled a, a truckload of money up to your back door and said, "Here's a hundred million uh, pounds, uh, just if you go on an advert or two for us." I'm sure most people would probably say. Yeah, I think I'll probably take that. And uh, I've, I've got another 12, 13, maybe even, maybe she's got another like 16, 17 years of tennis to play. So these things might not come around again. Well, if she completely uh, was abysmal for the whole next year on tour, she probably wouldn't even, those deals will dry up anyway. So got to take them while they're there. So I'm not hoping anything like that happens, though. Hoping that we see her go from strength to strength. That's the main thing. That's what everybody wants to see. We want to see uh, Radu Khanu replicate uh, what she does in the Grand Slams on the main tour. So, Or maybe she just does it in the Slams. She just saves it for the big occasions. We'll find out in Australia because she'll be playing there. Be exciting. That's the next uh, time we get to see her in a Grand Slam. Kostyuk serving. There we go. Second serve. Oh, Radu Khan. She just seems to be going for the shots too much. And you can be guilty of doing that. Um, I, I think that she needs to just take a bit off of her shots, just try and direct them into the court a bit better. And then I think she'll be all right. But this sort of style of tennis where she's just sort of slapping it out every time it uh, comes to her it's not effective it's not worked yet and i don't think it's going to start working anytime soon so kostyuk's a very very good player and uh, one that needs to be given the respect she deserves and uh, she's pushing raducanu around the court at the moment raducanu can't get in the swing of it Ace Kostyuk, fantastic hitting. Uh, and I know everybody's going to always be focusing right now on Emma Raducanu as well. I think, and I've been saying it on the podcast for a while, we need to be focusing on Marta Kostyuk because I think that she could be one of the next big stars in the women's game. She's definitely a very, uh, well, she's a player that a lot of people can get behind. I think someone like Marta Kostyuk, she's got a very, very attractive playing style and that amazing double-handed backhand down the line. And Radu Kanu now goes inside out forehand. Now backhand, forehand into Radu Kanu's backhand. Oh, she pushes Kostyuk back a bit there and then a tentative one. Now Kostyuk's turn to try and hit the winners, and she misses the line this time with that backhand down the line. Sorry, I'm drinking from a ridiculously large water receptacle. I haven't got time to go in the other room to get the glass. The only one I've got in here has got leftover drink in it. I'm not using that. What's going on? Well, at the moment, Kostyuk just missed one of her four uh, backhands down the line. But Kostyuk been looking still good. Raducanu needs to stop playing that slapping style of tennis on the return of serve. I yeah. think that's... Good that way of ex thing. explaining it, yeah. This, it's just slapping it all the time. I just think... Look that... at this. Four unforced errors. This sums up the match. 15 unforced errors from the forehand of Raducanu and four for Kostyuk. It's just errors galore. We're 43 minutes in and she's had 15 uh, forehand errors. That's a backhand error into the net. And we've got two break points for the double break. She's going to be she's going to be home packing soon, mate, to be fair. Yeah, guys, if you, are just, if you are just joining us, please help the channel out. Hit the like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. We're going to be bringing you more matches coming up over this weekend. It's going to be some good ones. Obviously, Carlos Alcaraz has made it through to uh, the next round. 
She just double faulted then and walked yeah. off. She's double faulted and walked off. Uh, she's going to have to be prone to some criticism here. This 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 sucks. Her attitude sucks here today. It's, got, it's gone. I'm not sure what's happened. It seems that every return of serve, she's just tried to hit a winner instead of just it's trying just to ease herself ben. into she's it. She's facing two break points there. She's sitting back in her chair now. Uh, she's given up. She's given up. And really we see, sure I know, listen, going. I know she's young and I know you can't really say this, you can't say that. She's given up. If if Benoit Pair was doing this, we'd be calling him every name under the sun. So Emma Raducanu should definitely be criticised here for the way she is treating this tournament um, with a lack of respect, her opponent with a lack of respect. Mm, I, think I feel you're like going she's... a bit too far. No, I think, I think, I think going she's to... given up, Ben. You like, you like going to the overboard Did too you much. See, she was walking off the off the call. Did you see the that last point? Yeah, she double forward. She was walking as she was as she, on the second serve. It was all she already she didn't care. Yeah, it was that thing. She's, well, she's not going to walk. She walk was walking as if the... before even the ball landed. It seemed it was like there was a, a, a there was a lack you of like care. Really, you like jumping on the. Okay, let's see the then. Back. Let's see. She's, Honestly, it's poor. Ben, look at this poor. She's there. She's made it through a couple of rounds. She's uh she's easing herself into the tour, mate. Just uh. Get off her back for a second. Kostyuk is the person that I think could be uh, somebody that we could get behind rather than getting on the back of Emma no, Raducanu. No way. You're, I, I, you're I, like I, everybody. I, I, I would, you're like the media. No, no, there's, no, no, no. I, I knew you was going to do this. I, this is my, my this, well, I'm, in my, I'm living you. in my nightmare right now, and that is you doing all this media, this and that with Emma Raducanu. Well, um, this is like my biggest fear. You're the attacker. We can't, I can't get on Mark to Kostyuk and say. This is amazing uh, because she's not done anything, Marta Kostya. I don't think she's played that great. Shots. Hit a few good shots. A few. It's been okay. Not so bad. You're allowed, allowed a bad day at the office had, every once in a while. We've seen, I've, 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 I can understand a bad. I can understand a bad day. That's not an issue. Don't mind a bad day. It's about the attitude. It's about the nature of the way you lose. She could lose this a double bagel, but it's about the attitude. And right now, it just doesn't look great. If I'm honest, maybe it's no coach. Hopefully, it can maybe improve. she's got no one to uh, turn to. In times of need. We can't always no. <laughs> say forever. I know Jamie's here saying she doesn't need criticism. I understand she's young. She's not expected this. I've already said I don't think she's going to win anything for the next two years. It's fine. I'm not saying that. But you can't then just be like, she can't then be criticised ever. Of course, of course she can. she can be criticised. Well, then right now she needs to be criticised because uh, it's not a performance, which I'm, I'm, I'm that worried about. She's playing well, some good. Definitely her performance. Her performance. It's not isn't just good her at performance. All. Her attitude just stinks, Ben. I don't know. I don't think you can judge an attitude just by uh, the way someone's playing on one game. Was it that one was game? Based, said, just... I, it, listen, I know you're always going to stick up for it. I respect that, yeah, because I like that. I love that you have that win. You. That's that's. I think great. you just got to be. You've uh, got realistic. that loyalty towards her, and that's that's awesome. I'm all for that. I just think. You've got to be realistic as well in some regards. And she should be open to criticism here because she's not... She is. It seems her attitude is a bit off in this match. She is the person on tour here who is open for the most criticism. That's the problem. Granted, her tactics don't seem the best either, but that's another issue for me. Uh, she's just she's not employing any strategy to try and get back into it. That's the only problem. She's just trying to fight fire with fire, and it doesn't work all the time. No, she's saying she doesn't. You can see from her tennis, she's just given up. It's not given. She's trying to hit winners. It doesn't work. She's given can't up. Just ben. hit a winner off every ball. What that was what she was up? doing at the start. She's in this second set. There was a stage in this second set. I can't. I can pinpoint if I look back at the clip. Where she gave up. She, do you think she's looking at this match thinking she can win it right now? Probably not. And she, she gave up. <laughs> I'm not talking about right now. I feel like I've defeated you. I don't want to defeat you. But she's like... <laughs> no, but she, the way she's playing, I don't think... If you were playing like this, would you think that you're going to win the match? I think anyone, if you're playing a tennis to match, the ball. you should always even think that you can win shot the match. There, even when she gets them in, she's like she's trying to like smash it out of the court <laughs> it seems that every shot she's trying to prove that she's more powerful or something and with every shot i don't know why Is that, don't, she mate, doesn't her need attitude's to. not looking good i think she just needs a better strategy 
uh, in the next That's tournament. That's a good shot. I like that. She played it back the same way. Some players like to try and uh, hit, hit their way out of a problem and uh, other players like to use strategies. Hitting out of the problem doesn't ever get you uh, the right result, though, unfortunately. There you go, like that one. Okay. I think we're seeing this slightly differently. For, for me, when I play tennis, I sometimes have a bad attitude. Okay? So I'm not saying it's just her. I, I often do as well. And what I'll do is I, I feel like I'm not going to win this match. And I basically give up. And I'll tell you what I do. I smack <laughs> every ball as hard as I can. Why? And if it, and if, cause, cause it's an attitude. Like my head goes and I lose it. That's what All happened right. to her now. And if you're a professional tennis player, you can't afford to be JG no. in the park. No, you can't. You've got no, to be you like... you certainly can't. You've got to be... You've got to be a model professional. You need to be better than this. And this is poor, Ben. Into you the net to... again and Kostjuk here, two points away from taking it. When was the last it? time she sliced Dreadful. the ball? That's what I want to know. When because the she's time? given up. She's not think There's no tactics. There's no. She's not using the tennis brain here to try and <laughs> uh, carve out a point. There's no. There's no intelligence going into anything she's doing. It's just get me off the court as quick as possible. Granted, she started like with a little bit of... She, uh, maybe her tactic was to hit it, hit it very hard, and just try Ooh, and drop sort of shot. do all the stuff there. But oh, really, it's just been nothing. There you go, drop shot. First on for a while, wins are the point. Jackson, some is using the word what I should have said. She's basically stopped thinking. Yeah, she's not thinking anymore. And she doesn't have the uh, I like to call it a lizard mode, uh, but where she doesn't really have the wealth of experience just to go into like that lizard mode where you're just like literally just you don't have to think, you can just play like someone like Halep. She can do that on court. She's just been there so many times before, but Radu Khan, who can't afford to do that. It just seems like we're always going to see the same situation. We're never going to be able to see Emma Raducanu Hallett. Yeah, They've been this is it. I think to, it's to cross half so many times. Come on, how, how, <laughs> how do you describe that shot then? From from a just this like the same. JG, I've JG seen JG it on repeat special. so many times. <laughs> There's actually some people who agree with me for once in the chat, which is good wow. to see. We've got Vanch here going. I agree with JG. What a miracle! Ben is in BBC mode. Um, <laughs> Love it. <laughs> we had a few. Bends, buttons, and crap. <laughs> Radu Kanu providing the crap. <laughs> oh, no. And just like that, we do have yeah, match, match point costume. And it's been 52 minutes. It just, just clicked then as I said it. Match point. Probably going to be a double four. I'm going to call it before. Uh, it I knew you were going to say it. I knew you were going to say it. It wasn't a double four. It wasn't. It was a good one. Oh, nice inside out forehand. She steps in. Yeah, she saves it. Winner. Come she on. She saves it. Come on. Just keep. <laughs> She's holding her side again. What's she doing? Not that stomach thing again, hopefully. Who? Emma. She was just holding her like stomach again. What's she doing? No, she doesn't look. She looks like f flustered. I don't know what it is. I don't know. If, there's no crowd there. No, she's just that shot's a definite like uh You've just started seeing it. That's all it's happened ages ago. Look, she's already going again. I'm, I don't have time to press the button because she wants to I get out of it. I just think she looks I don't think she wants out of there for the reason that you're saying though. I think you're saying it's an attitude thing. For me, when I look at her on the court, I see someone who's in sort of distress, not like someone who doesn't care. Okay, fair enough. I'm, I'm not going to criticize you. know what I mean? Point. I see signs. Listen, I mate, see... everyone sees things differently. That's the beauty I of I see sport. like the Wimbledon I respect version. that. Okay. I don't see, I don't see like, maybe I'm looking a bit too much into it. I don't know. Maybe you're just <laughs> basically trying to make me look like the, the biggest twat ever. So basically, I'm, I'm criticizing <laughs> someone who's having social issues She collapses on the right court, now. then you're going to feel really <laughs> that, horrible. That's, that's what you're trying to say, basically. <laughs> no, that, that is a valid point, for sure. It's another match point. It's another mistake from Emma. Match point. Gosh. Oh, that's a big winner. Yeah, but it's... It's not Zip. sustainable, is it? This level of this, <laughs> this tennis. It's just um, I don't want to be here. She got she found the court. If they, they look great when they come off like that, what a shot! <laughs> it does. How many more can she produce? Great serve. serve. 
Really good volley as well. She comes in. Another really good volley. Right, volley. volley. Come on. That is, that's probably her best shot of the match, if I'm honest. And I it's coming at a very critical time. I volleyed that one, though, to be honest. I was hoping she'd let it bounce. Seems like she's just trying to rush a lot of the shots. Look how fast she's serving. I know. It's Cam Norrie style. <laughs> oh, that one. She got, didn't move her feet there, did she? No. Maybe that's something to do with the uneven terrain. Or it could be to do with her, her attitude that it Bill just sucks today. Ben's brain cramp. <laughs> could be right. Could be right. I've definitely got brain cramp after today, I tell you. She's gone big on that forehand. Kostyuk, she doesn't go away easy. Nice backhand from Raducanu. Kostyuk, great recovery skills. Yeah, good well drop played. shot there from Raducanu. Well Too good. For both of them, That's actually. Better. That's a lot better tennis. Some of the best tennis we've seen has come in these last few shots. Uh, Kostyuk there playing really good defence to keep that one alive. Uh, ultimately, though, that was a really clever sort of slice drop shot there from Raducanu. We don't I see don't no celebration from her. Nothing Kostyuk at all. Was, There's uh... not much emotion on Raducanu's face right now. Kostyuk was very good against Halep the last time they played as well. So that would be interesting to see Kostyuk Halep again, uh, see how she fares second time round. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying with the, like you're saying about Emma and there's there's no emotion. In the last couple of matches, she's been giving it the come on and there's all that. She hasn't done anything today. Because it's her attitude. It's either her attitude or she doesn't. It's, it's an energy thing. I don't know. It could be. You don't know. You can't. It's easy to say it's an attitude. At least thing. this, though, David. One thing we've got to say for her, and she's not giving up completely. It seemed like she did at one point, but she's digging her heels in a little bit now because she's not just playing the aggressive style. We've seen a few drop shots. We've seen a bit of. Uh, she's mixing up her <laughs> game a little bit. Phil saying, if Emma comes back, epic. JG retires. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what happens from there. If if Radu Kanu wins this set seven five, you'd think then she wins the third as well, probably six love. <laughs> so I then, know. I think it must still be quite an even third, to be honest. I think Kostyuk's no, very I don't good. Think so. If she wins this seven five, I'm telling you now, it's not an even third. Right. She's got a long way to go. I mean, she's got to get out of this service game. We're on juice for how long now? We've gone back and forth to juice. Well, let's see if we can get to 100 likes. If you haven't liked the video yet, guys, it really helps us out. Hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. We'll be doing some more podcasts tomorrow um, and then Sunday as well. We may have some finals to, uh, to get for a match point again. Uh, I think it's number four. Return. Yep. Match point. Nice. Into the rally. And that is oh, dreadful. There's a shank to finish for Radu Kanu. Not how we wanted to see it. And she tried to make it a little bit longer at the end. She did dig her heels in a little bit, but ultimately 58 minutes the match. And she lost 6-2, 6-1. Uh, Radu Kanu, the best we really saw from her was from about 52 to 58. So that, that six-minute window. Apart yeah. from that, there was a spell maybe at that 10th minute. Te dreadful, apart from that. Absolutely dreadful. Yeah, not She's got to be open to criticism. This wasn't her um, getting beaten by the better player on the day. This wasn't Marta Kostyuk coming in inspired fashion. This was Emma Raducanu not turning up whatsoever. Um, she's young. It's not the end of the day. It's not the, the biggest... Let's not all jump on her back completely and be like, oh, she's a what a fraud, one hit wonder. I don't think that at all. I still think she has all the makings to be another grand to win another grand slam. I really do, or even a big tournament. Yeah. Really, really to... top player. But let's just everyone calm the hype down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, for sure. Notch it down a little bit. You see the odds, it just drives me crazy. Know, Massive favourite just... again. They've already got her winning all the grand slams next year on the bookmakers in the UK. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. I just can't stand it. So everyone oh. needs to just be grounded a little bit and let's see, take it all slow, but ultimately fix her attitude, change her tactics because I don't want to watch Emma play like this again. Let's see uh, what happens when we go to Australia, though. Could just be a slam player, but we will find out when we go to the next uh, Grand Slam. If uh, if she does well in that slam, then it's going to really throw everything uh, completely out the window. All of the stats go out the window then, obviously, at Grand Slams. Another match going on at the moment. I thought that would be uh, interesting just to have a quick word about. 
Rublev lost the first set to van der Zanschlup, yeah. and now he's just broken back as well. Van der Zanschlup in the second set, it's four games all. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about that one earlier. Um, but yeah, Coward. pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. Van der Zanschlup hitting some great form. And then the other match, what was going on, I wanted to see how did Zverev get on? Did he end up winning that one? I didn't. Yeah, he did. Oh, so he Zverev did. did beat Felix in the end, 6 3 in that third set. So he's going to be a real hot favourite to go and win that event. Definitely will be. Uh, I think Yannick Sinner, who's got a tough match coming up against Casper Rude, I believe. Clara Towson's just taken the second set against Anne Lee. That, what an epic one, that one. That was probably the match to cover, to be honest, yeah. rather than this one. This one, a little bit of a damp squib. Uh, well, it didn't even last the hour. And I think I'm going to wrap it up there because I don't want to say anything anymore on it, to be fair. I think I've said yeah. enough. Uh, but shout out to everyone who did join us for it. Um, apologies, it wasn't the greatest match. We can't do much about that. I think Berrettini Alcaraz was the match of the day, match of the week, as Ben said. Um, yeah. But yeah, we'll leave it there. We did hit 20K <laughs> subs. So thanks to you, you guys. Appreciate all the congratulations we've received. Um, we couldn't do it without you. If you haven't subscribed, hit the button now and like the video. If you are new, here's our celebration for all of us on Game to Love. So, well, that's it, mate. And uh, we'll try and bring you some more matches over the weekend. So keep your ear to the ground, hit that bell button, and uh, we'll see you probably tomorrow now. Yep. See you guys then.